So the uh, name of our club is Houghton Regis Bampton Club. It's grown exponentially since 2019. Well, basically we wanted to uh, have it affiliated with Badminton England and Bevetshire Badminton Association, primarily because we wanted to get our guys into leagues and also to manage it in a way that uh, it was remained a social club but also a competitive club. I've been playing badminton for the last two three years, but I joined this club uh, last October. But when I came here, I just um, like the club. It's an all mix, female, male. It's all kind of very friendly club, so playing with other people and um, just socialising as well. I think it's, it's really nice because there is quite a big mixture of ability, but it's very inclusive. Like you feel very welcoming, even when I first started. Like people who are higher ability, like they, they let you come in, they teach you, they, they kind of do their own little coaching when you're playing with them. So it's really nice you don't feel like under pressure if you're not quite at the standard as the same people you're playing with. So yeah, I felt very comfortable and welcomed when I first started. And I think after a like, very stressful day at work, it's nice to come and like release some of that pent up energy. And it is quite social as well, like everyone's really friendly, you get to have a laugh and a joke. It's a mixture of like jokey games and then you can have some more serious ones throughout the night. So like it's a nice, fitness, social, still competitive environment? I think um, the people, those who are managing the club, they are very professional. The, the, especially the clubs, the club members are very, very helpful. And when the new people come and join the club, they help them. They don't just discourage them, basically not playing against each other, the strong people, strong players. They just actually play with them as well to just give them a bit of uh, experience as well. I think especially in some clubs um, that are male dominated and it, it, like you said there are a lot more males here I think for this club in particular they are very welcoming they, there's not that kind of old oh, women have to play like separately they were very inclusive of that and I think when I first started I was slightly apprehensive um, but they kind of put it to rest and I know like speaking with other women throughout the county in the leagues we played it's quite nice to be part of a club that is so welcoming and like enthusiastic for women to come and play and join I think that was kind of shown where it's the first year that they put together like a league with women in as well to show that they're encouraging that which is really nice to see. Probably the best advice I'll give to clubs who are looking to grow their club and perhaps if they don't have a committee it's a formal committee to look after the club's activities and to look at ways of actually um, increasing the profile of a club in the local areas and into the community and engage with people and you know obviously do all, all the usual stuff, uh, networking, um, opening up a social media account, uh, maybe on Instagram, Facebook, etc. It's like we put a poll out this morning, we knew exactly who wasn't coming and who was coming by tonight. So that, that gives you confidence and they also see it themselves. If we need to communicate anything that's going on or anything that needs to be discussed, we can do it through that. Poor part of our club is a committee that we have in place. Now we've got a very good team. Um, we make decisions as a unit together, and also um, discuss that in the, in the committee meetings of all the challenges, probably personal issues uh, as a member, you know, things like that. So we look at all types of activities um, uh, in, in, the, in the committee.